From missing the USADA deadline to turning into a shell of his former self, this is how Conor McGregor ruined his career. He keeps finding himself in hot water over and over again. According to reports, Conor missed the USADA's deadline to provide a sample, and this puts his return fight against Michael Chandler at risk. The deadline was set for June 14, 2023, and McGregor, who had two whole years to remember that date, sort of just forgot about it. This is bad news for the Irish fighter. He now has to re-enter the USADA testing pool for six months. On top of that, he has to pass two drug tests before he can step foot into the octagon again. It's all part of the strict anti-doping regulations that fighters must follow, just to make sure everything's fair and all. The big question now is whether McGregor will be granted an exemption by USADA and the UFC, but it doesn't look likely. This, though, is just one of the many mistakes McGregor has made in his once great career. There was a time when he was at the top of the world, beating opponents left and right, and leaving a trail of battered egos in his wake. It looked like McGregor was an unstoppable force. He had heart. Remember when he faced off against Max Holloway in a nail-biting three-round clash? That has to be one of the most grueling matchups the UFC's ever witnessed. McGregor tore his ACL during the fight, but did he back down? Heck no! He fought tooth and nail and walked out victorious with a unanimous decision. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the notorious Conor McGregor! After spending some time away due to injury, McGregor finally made his return to the octagon in July 2014, and he made it count. His first fight back was against Diego Brandeo, and let's just say he wasted no time at all showing us all why he's the GOAT. He knocked Diego out in the first round after a painful left hook, and it was almost as if his ACL tear was nothing more than a common cold. As Conor McGregor's star soared higher and higher, he didn't settle for just a taste of success. He was hungry for more. In July 2015, McGregor faced off against Chad Mendez and the stakes were high, with the interim UFC featherweight championship up for grabs, and McGregor was dead set on tasting gold. This is a fight where McGregor actually found some trouble. He was knocked down multiple times and looked like he was going to be in trouble, but instead of simply using force, he showed some serious smarts. He made each of his strikes count, and in the second round, he hit a clean strike that knocked Mendes into another dimension. It was a display of his intelligent side, and after that fight, his rise showed no signs of slowing down. Later that year, he faced off against Jose Aldo in the most iconic fight of his life. Thirteen seconds after the bell rang, he caught Aldo slacking and swung at him with the cleanest left hook I'd seen in my life. It was good night for Aldo, and as for McGregor, he made history, holding both the featherweight and flyweight titles. But he looked for even more glory, and in 2016 at UFC 205, he squared off against Eddie Alvarez, vying for the lightweight title, just to add to his collection. And in typical McGregor fashion, he dismantled Alvarez, securing victory and becoming the first fighter in UFC history to hold championships in two weight classes simultaneously. But this was sort of the peak of his career. McGregor became this larger-than-life character, and he thought he was unstoppable. And that's when he made the first big mistake of his career, Conor McGregor's foray into the realm of professional boxing, taking on none other than the undefeated legend, Floyd Mayweather Jr. This one didn't quite go as planned for our dear McGregor. Now, let's be clear. McGregor, despite his skill in the octagon, had never tested his mettle in a professional boxing match. And boy, did it show! The fight was hyped to be a massive cat Cash cow, with both fighters expected to rake in a whopping $100 million or more. Trash talk was flying left and right, with McGregor taking the lead in the energy department. He had an undeniable knack for firing up the crowd with his fiery performances. But when the bell rang, reality hit hard for McGregor. Mayweather, the master of the sweet science, showcased his superior boxing skills. It was like watching a clinic unfold before our eyes. McGregor came out swinging, displaying some early sparks of promise. But as the rounds ticked by, Mayweather seized control. It was a classic case of experience trumping raw talent. In the 10th round, the fight was stopped, and Mayweather won the fight after a technical knockout. McGregor insisted that he had won the trash talk battle, as if that were some consolation prize. But hey, that was boxing. If there was one MMA fight that started his downfall, it was the clash between him and Khabib. McGregor was making a comeback from his lucrative boxing bout with Mayweather, looking to reclaim the lightweight belt he once held. But 
fate had other plans in store. Once the fight began, Connor got in a few strikes and kicks here and there. But eventually, in the second round, Khabib took control and never let go. He dominated McGregor, submitting him in the fourth round with a rear naked choke. It was a grappling showcase, and McGregor struggled to keep up, unable to launch any meaningful offense. It was a tough pill to swallow for the Irish fighter. His performance was outright humiliating. It wasn't his first loss, but no one was used to seeing McGregor be dominated like this, and the drama didn't end there. A post-fight brawl broke out, involving members of both fighters' teams. Chaos ensued, and fines and suspensions were dished out like hotcakes. It tarnished McGregor's reputation, as he was considered one of the instigators of the whole shebang. The impact of McGregor's loss against Khabib was massive. It dealt a severe blow to his career. He failed to mount a significant offense against the Russian warrior, leaving fans and critics questioning his ability to regain his former glory. And let's not forget about the controversies surrounding McGregor's behavior outside the octagon. He found himself entangled in instances of violence and misconduct, further muddying the waters. All in all, McGregor's defeat against Khabib marked a turning point, the beginning of the end for his illustrious career. The road ahead was far from smooth, as he struggled to recapture his former brilliance in subsequent bouts. In January 2021 at UFC 257, McGregor faced off against Dustin Poirier once again. The result, a second round TKO loss for McGregor. It was another devastating blow to his career. McGregor couldn't find his rhythm, failing to mount any significant offense against Poirier. The writing was on the wall, indicating that McGregor's dominance was slipping away. Fast forward to July 2021, UFC 264. McGregor and Poirier stepped into the octagon once more. And this time, McGregor didn't just lose, he got shattered. It was a first round KO by Poirier, and it happened after the American essentially snapped McGregor's leg in half, leaving him in agonizing pain as the referee was forced to stop the match. These losses were a significant blow to McGregor's career. He couldn't muster a meaningful offense against Poirier in either of their last two encounters. The once unstoppable McGregor was now grappling with doubts and questioning his place in the fighting world. But there's more to this story. McGregor, instead of taking the losses on the chin like a true champion, resorted to complaining and venting his frustrations. He went as far as issuing death threats to Poirier and his family. It was a disappointing display of poor sportsmanship and tarnished whatever credibility McGregor had left. Today, it's hard to deny that he's a far cry from the force he once was. Gone are the days when he was hailed as a top-tier athlete, striking fear into the hearts of his opponents. Now he's more like a distant memory a has-been in the fight game. Sure, McGregor still manages to pull in the crowds and generate buzz, but let's face it, he's no longer a threat to any division. The fire that once burned brightly within him seems to have dimmed. It's like watching a shadow of his former self. Part of McGregor's downfall can be attributed to his own carelessness. He doesn't seem to take the competition as seriously as he once did. And let's not forget about his slip up with the USADA, missing the deadline to submit his samples. That's a rookie mistake. It's a clear indication that he may have unofficially sounded the bell on his own career. So, turning into a shell of his former self to missing the USADA deadline, that was how Conor McGregor ruined his career.